Welcome in new video. In this previous videos, you learn about how to solve the simultaneous equation by elimination or substitution method. Now I will show you the simultaneous equation which one set is linear, another is non-linear. Means if another is quadratic equation, linear means only one degree equation. So we learn already how to solve the those one degree equations, linear equation. Now I will teach you how to solve the linear and non-linear. If one is linear, another is non-linear. With this example, there is example 2x minus y equal to 3. Another is xy equal to x plus 2y. Here x into y so 1 1 in this equation this is not linear this is quadratic equation degree of this equation is 2 so how to solve same process from linear equation you can find the value of x or y anything it's not necessary from another equation you can find the value of any one variable either x or y I use equation 1 find the value of y is 2x minus 3 so everywhere in equation 2 we substitute this value. So x, y is 2x minus 3 plus x plus 2, y is 2x. Substitute the value of y in equation 2. We can see this now convert into only one variable equation that is called x. Now you can simplify when you open all the brackets it's 2x square minus 3x equal to x plus 4x minus 6. Now this is a quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x minus x minus 4x plus 6 equal to 0. So all x should be combined 2x square minus 3 4 4 8x plus 6 equal to 0. Clear? Now you need to any cross method or another method to find the roots of this equation. We learn already we, you need to make x square term constant term is 6 and this is x term. So x square term is 2x. I put 2x upon x. 2 times x is x square. Now in this method we need to factorize this 6 to get the x value. See 6. Factor of 6 is 1, 6 and 2, 3. See 3, 2 is a 6. Minus, minus become plus. And factor, now you multiply this. 2 times x is minus 2x. 3 times 2 is minus 6x. This become minus of 8x. Clear? All three terms match. So our factors of this equation becomes we have to pair in this way. Not in the cross way. So it's 2x minus 2 and x minus 3 is 0. You can recheck also. See 2 times x is 2x square minus 6x minus 2x is 8x and minus minus 6. So it's clear. Now find the value of x. x equal to 2x equal to 2. x equal to 1. First root is 1. From here x equal to 3. So we have two values for x. One is x equal to 1 or other is 3. These two values when you substitute in equation 1 we will get another two pair of values for y. So 2 times when I put x equal to 1 2 times 1 minus y equal to 3 or I put here more easy. So y is 2x minus 3 equal to y. So 2 minus y equal to minus 1. Another x equal to 3. So 2 times 3 minus 3 equal to y. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. So y is 3. So there are two values. When x is 1, y is minus 1. When x is 3, y is 3. Clear? 
So this is how we solve if one is linear and another is quadratic equation. So from linear equation you can find the value of x or y either substitute in the second equation. Then in second equation only one variable quadratic it will become with quadratic factorization you know how to factorize use cross method factorize it find the roots when roots come values of x or y whatever you can substitute above find another values for if you get the x you can find the pair of y so this also we can say the point of intersection means this is x 1 1 x1 y is equal to minus 1 and x3 y3 this is point of intersection for both the equation where they cut in the coordinate i will show you one more example another they ask find the coordinates of the point of intersection of line y minus x plus 3 equal to 0 another is y equal to x square minus 4x plus 1 so same process you need to substitute from first y is x minus 3. Substitute here, I will get x minus 3 equal to x square minus 4x plus 1. Clear? Now, everything one side, x square minus 4x plus 1, this go this side become minus x plus 3 to 0. So, our quadratic equation is x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. Same way you need to find the factors x square constant is 4. So x square is 1 I put here x. x times x is x square. Now we need the factor of 4. 1, 4 and 2, 2. Clear? So let's see if I put here center is 1 and 4. So this gives 4x, this gives x. But it's negative. So we need to put both negative because this 4 is plus. So 4 1 ja 4 minus minus plus. And from with this, this is minus x minus 4x. So this become minus of 5x. Clear? Minus 5x plus. So our factors are this x minus 1 and x minus 4. From this we can say x equal to 1. Another pair is x equal to 4. Substitute here when x equal to 1 y will get minus 2. When x equal to 4 y will get 1. So our point of intersection is 1 minus 2 and 1 comma 4 comma 1. These are the answer. Find the point of intersection means this curve when you trace this curve. This curve is like y is equal to x square means this is somewhere is the parabola in positive. So if parabola this is the line. So this one point and another point. These two are the point of intersection for these two curves. One is a straight line, another is curve. When, where they both cut, you will get that point by solving these two simultaneous equations.